In this section, you will configure a third-party motor. We are starting in the project overview. Click the 8400 High Line C in the project tree. The device overview will open. To configure the motor, click the Motor button. You are now in the Motor Data dialog. To configure a third-party motor, you have to enter the motor data individually. The data of the motor nameplate are entered in the column on the left, Motor Data. The Rated Power. The Rated Speed. The Rated Current. The Rated Frequency. The Rated Voltage. And the Cosine Phi. Further data required for the internal motor control are identified for you by the inverter. For this, click the Identification button. In the following dialog, you start the identification with Start Identification. For the identification, the controller must be enabled. First, we have to enable the controller via terminal. Then, via the software by clicking the Enable Controller button. The identification starts. The bar shows the progress. After a successful identification run, the controller is inhibited via the software. The identified data are shown. Confirm this dialog with OK. Important note. Inhibit the drive via terminal again now. The query only refers to controller inhibit via software. Confirm with Yes. Thus, the controller is only inhibited via the terminal. Click Back. You are now in the device overview again. You have configured the third-party motor successfully. To complete the section, we'll now save the project with the changed parameters non-volatilely in the device. You can then read it out again from the device any time. Click the icon with the red floppy disk in the menu bar. Confirm the following dialog with Next. The transmission will start automatically. After the transmission has been completed, you are in the device overview again. In Section 1, Creating a Project, we have shown you how to save the project to your computer. You have completed this section successfully.